do you like fast food? I love fast food. In particular, not gonna lie, me and Big Macs, we go way back. But now, I don't go through the drive-thru. Why? Because I can make it better right here. All right, we're gonna throw down the ultimate Big Mac right here on the Rectech RT700, but you gotta make that special sauce. It's super simple. My burger sauce, I start with a little bit of mayonnaise. We're gonna add some ketchup. Gonna add a little bit of yellow mustard. And then for me, I go a little dill pickle juice. You just gotta give it some love. All right, so that pickle juice is going to give it like a nice acidic balance. And I like it because it kind of just makes your mouth water. I'm going to add a little bit of chopped pickle and just a little bit of minced Vidalia onion because it's delicious. We'll go a little more. We'll put some on the burger too. Yep, yeah, you know, that's perfect. And then a little chopped dill pickle. To get some more juice off there, hey, it's all good. This also makes a great fry sauce. Onion ring dippers, fried pickles. Put it on your toast in the morning. All right, so that mayonnaise is going to give us that nice creaminess. You got to have some ketchup and mustard. It is a hamburger, right? Instead of making a mess, having to add everything, at, at everything separately, I mix it all together. But this is our delicious burger sauce. Mayo, ketchup, mustard, onion, pickle juice, and a little chopped pickle. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. It's got to sit in the fridge for a little while. It only gets better with time. Just throwing it out there. It only gets better with time. Now, you know we got to up our burger game. And how we're going to up that burger game is using some fantastic American Wagyu beef. This is uh, some, from some of our friends at Cow Cattle Company. We're gonna grab some of that ground Wagyu. And I tend to put a piece of plastic wrap and I use a ring mold. And that way I can really get that burger nice and flat and even. And I use uh, the plastic wrap so that burger doesn't stick to the board. And if it's not windy outside, it tends to cooperate real good. And I'm gonna make some delicious Probably like six ounce patties. Now I want to say the the Big Mac really isn't all that big when it comes to the beef. But good for you. Make it as big as you want it. Alright, while well, I'm smashing this beef, go ahead and smash the bell. No, it's ring the bell. Smash. Gotcha. While well, I'm smashing this meat, go ahead and ring that bell and smash that subscribe button. All right, we got our burger patties all flattened out, ready to go. We're going to hit it with that Ben's heifer dust. I guarantee the double arches are not using Ben's heifer dust. We got that RT700 preheated to 500 degrees. We got that sear kit on there flat side up so we can get these crispy delicious all over. Let's go grilling. All right, they say the Big Mac was invented in Pittsburgh, but quite frankly, it's perfected here in Evans, Georgia at Rectech Grills. I'm gonna up the game here with some nice onion roll, and you'll know that burger is famous for the three buns. So we're gonna do it with that bottom, middle, and top. And don't you worry, we're gonna put sesame seeds on it. She got some melted butter here. Don't worry, I told you sesame seeds. A little of a shoulder for good luck.
All right, we're gonna let those burgers rest for a little bit because we gotta build our Big Mac. Okay, you got your sesame seed bun. We got that special sauce. We got the pickles. We got the lettuce. We could sing the song. It's two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Boom. And repeat. If I open the box and my Big Mac look like this, child, please, I might go eat there more often. But we got two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles on a sesame seed bun. Little slip sliding away. We'll see you at the Rectech.